Capital punishment is forbidden in Switzerland and was abolished from federal criminal law in 1942, but remained available in military criminal law until 1992. The last actual executions in Switzerland took place during World War II. In the canton of Argau, where we are today, the last public execution was carried out in 1854 on the former Bernese execution ground in Lenzburg. But without a gallows or surrounding wall, when Bernhard Matter lost his life by the sword. The last execution in Argau was carried out at Arburg Fortress behind the closed doors in 1863, and the last criminal death sentence in Switzerland was carried out in Sarnen prison on October 18, 1940, using a guillotine brought from the canton of Luzern. Today we are visiting a place where people were executed. We are at the gallows of Arburg. The last public execution was carried out here on June 22, 1764. Salome Binder from Strengelbach was beheaded by the sword for infanticide, murdering a child. The executioner and his servant, and occasionally several of them, moved within a walled enclosure and the officials were not allowed to be disturbed or even hindered in any way during their duties. The enclosure wall was not allowed to be too high, not to obstruct people's use of the proceedings. Hello everyone! I have to thank you. Thanks a lot for the good reception of the last two videos. Um, it's amazing. You can do like uh, long time videos and no one gives a shit. But then for some magical reason YouTube starts to show them and then here we are going well. We are hitting the 1000 subscribers soon. Um, it's me, by the way. <laughs> Shades on. Shades on because we are going to do some shady business. As I told you in the intro, we are going to visit the gallows of Arburg or Arbik, like the local people call that place. The most research what I have done to any videos I have done for this one. And there's a shocking thing which came out. On the Halloween, a few years ago, a local uh, internet-based newspaper was visiting the gallows and they were interviewing tour guide of this town of Arburg. And Mr. Spies was giving a really uh, good explanation about the gallows, uh, what has happened there, what's the history, about how hanging is bad and even the strongest man can't fight against hanging um, 15 minutes maximum depending about the muscles here in the neck and what happens three years after that Halloween Mr. Spears died himself by being hanged sort of he was working on his house he was doing some rebuilding there and he had a concrete mixer in front of his house, you know, going around like this. And he was working on it. He used to wear a scarf around his neck and that scarf was somehow tangling into the concrete mixer and it was cracking him inside the mixer and, you know, all the time making it tighter and tighter and he died a few days after that in the hospital was it just a coincidence i don't think so Right guys, we are in the 
beautiful, beautiful town of Arburg, also known as Arbik for the locals. This is the place we are at the gallows. Here, between two, between these two pillars, there used to be a beam. You see the holding hole for the beam, and they used to hang people hanging from that beam. They let them hang here as long as the body came down, you know, rottening down itself. And they were killing hundreds of people here. Hundreds. Oh, yeah. This will be a challenge for stealth camping. I'm telling you, there's a really busy road down there, there's the railway, there's the river, <laughs> uh, and here are the cliffs. And this place is like, if not number one, then number two tourist attraction of Arburg. Whew. Come to think of it. People's bodies, they have been laying here after rottening, after coming down. Yeah, this place is cursed. I'm totally getting it. I'm glad today is not Halloween. Even though the sun hasn't went down yet and the cars and trains are driving there behind me, this place is spooky. This place is really spooky. I mean, look at these thousand year old stones. They were even de demolishing these and then they were building them again, you know. Maybe they were thinking. It was year 1940, by the way, then they were, when they were building this again. Maybe they were thinking they, might, they need to hang some Nazis during the, the war. But yeah. Camping possibilities. They look like uh, zero. Here at least. So probably we are going to check out a little bit further up the hill. There seems to be some cliffs. Maybe we can uh, find there some kind of foxhole to go. This might be my lucky day, or then not. Look at that. There seems to be a cave. Whoa. Give me a break. This is a uh, dead end, or is it? <sighs> yeah, looks like that. Bloody hell. Oh. Look at the roof, it's like covered in... It's 
spider webs. Whoa. What about if we go a little bit further? Hey, here's a hole. Check this out. Here's a small hole. Even smaller hole. Spiders. I don't like you. Full of spider webs. <clears throat> oh, God damn it. Do I really have to go here? Spider webs. Fucking big spider was there. Okay. Ciao. I'm going. Shit. I will not spend my night over there. Don't even think about it. No, 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 it's not gonna happen. Why the gallows were located here is that uh, this is the border of two cantons. This is the border of Solotun, which is here, and Argao, which is here. On this place, the Bernese who used to rule canton of uh, Arau and Arburg also before. They wanted to show what we do with the bad people, or let's say people we don't like. And gallows were located also here because the road was going underneath it. Everyone who was traveling the road, they could see a person hanged over there. It must have been quite a grim sight. You know, the winters, they are not so uh, cold here. And also the smell of a rottening body.
What do you say about my multi camo BB? I think it looks pretty damn stealthy over there behind me, doesn't it? Yeah. Actually, it's pretty dark already, which means uh, I should start to cook soon. But I always cook better when I'm having a re refreshing can or step two. Today's step two is a return of an old friend, Heine. Cheers my friends, cheers my friends. There's someone down there at the gallows. Don't come here. Cheers. Please leave a comment down below, please subscribe, put the thumbs up, all this funky stuff, it will help us to go forward. some dinner. Tonight's meal is a chicken pasta meal from Leader. I don't know guys, me sleeping next to that big hole, that big cave. So I'm like all the time having a feeling like a giant spider will come out from there and eat me alive during my sleep. Well actually, if it would happen during my sleep, I wouldn't bother, but probably I would wake up in the middle of it, so nah nah. I don't want to go like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's good, but not enough kick. Hey guys, I'm going to eat now. See you after dinner.
I feel like being in a railway tunnel camping. <laughs> Welcome to my humble home here at the gallows. Uh, I think my sleeping pad is uh, losing air again. I fixed it once and once it was good but last time it was already... There is something I must check when I go home. Where's the hole this time? Yeah, we'll see about that. But first, let's try to get some sleep. Good cup of morning, good cup of morning to you. Ah, slept so bad, my uh, sleeping pad is having a hole. Well, actually, I knew the hole is there, but I thought I was fixing it, but nah, it was still letting some air outside. After like two hours of sleeping, it was totally empty. And I was like, uh, now I could wake up every two hours to feel it, or I just try to sleep. I don't know. Did I make a good decision or not? There's so many wild garlic here around. I was inhaling the fumes during the whole night. So they say that uh, garlic is like, um, you know, it's healthy for you. It's the antibiotics from the nature. If the wild garlic is having same kind of uh, effect, I'm not going to be sick this year. Yeah, I had a visitor, uh, some kind of creature, maybe a fox. 
first I heard a bird, like warning. Quack, quack, you know, in the middle of the night. And then I heard like footsteps. Yeah. And probably it was just walking here by going, uh, you know, checking me out and then going somewhere. Let's walk down this hill. Let's check out the gallows one more time. Uh, you know, just probably to pay our respects for those poor souls who lost their lives hanging there. Thank you for coming with me. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, please put the thumbs up and see you next time somewhere outside. Ciao! Don't mind me. I'm just here hanging at the gallows. <laughs>